hello hi everyone uh, welcome to our youtube channel so in this video i will explain you about imagic uh, audio transcription platform so as you can see i'm already logged in uh, onto the platform i have made another video where i have uh, explained you the method how, how we can log in onto the platform please watch this video if you got this project and if you are uh, ready to work on this platform so i'm already logged in and on to the left side i can see the expired expire time so on to the left side panel i can see the expire time but uh, we are not going to follow this time uh, this deadline will be uh, explained to you by your uh, manager so you have to follow your deadline because after uh, we're gonna submit the clip uh, there will be a quality check for all the clips so uh, that is the reason we are not going to follow this expire time and uh, over here you can see uh, some labels are given for speech and these are these labels are for the non-speech and on the top you can see two speakers uh, have been added one is for the male and second is for the female so how uh, this platform uh, operates so what you have to do is that this is the wave line and uh, uh, this is the first segment on the right side you can see all the segmentation being done on uh, this audio clip and on the top right corner you can see list of audio it means that this clip which we are working on it has only one package so you may find more packets whenever you obtain new data so this uh, this whole clip has only one audio, audio pack uh, packet okay so let's uh, move forward so i have uh, created a uh, number one segment uh if i you can see as soon as i move my mouse on this segment i can see some information on the top you can see segment one starting time ending time and duration of this particular segment is 0.64 so i'm going to delete this segment this is the area where we can uh, where we can add our text so uh, whatever we gonna hear we'll have to transcribe on this uh, on this field okay i'll delete this segment something that helps okay so let's delete the second segment as well but before you take a decision to delete a segment uh, you need to ensure that uh, you have copied the text so you do not lose anything so I'm going to delete the segment so the first segment is deleted uh, let me create segment over here so the reason I have created segment over here because this area has uh, has a sound so but the duration of uh, this area is 0 0.67 and we cannot understand this sound hence is the reason that we'll have to delete this okay so let's delete it and I'll create another segment make sure that you create a segment as close as you can so let's start from here <clears throat> to create a segment you have to uh, hold the left click of your mouse and drag it to the right side Something that okay so the new segment has been created and the duration of the uh, segment can be seen it's, it has like 6.05 seconds and uh, we can also hear a background uh, no, background music and uh, we have already reduced the speed of this audio uh, clip due to the copyright issues because uh, i cannot play uh, the long clips so as so as we can uh, hear our background music on this audio uh, we'll have to select speaker one uh, because the speaker one is for the male and let's uh, add 
speaker speaking main speaker with background music this is the label we will have to select because it has a background music then i'll paste my text make sure there is no double space in between the text because if uh, there will be any uh, double space in between you won't be able to save this uh, uh, save the current progress so let me show you so as you can see we have a double space uh, in the text and if I click save so you can see I have got an error like unqualified content segment one speaker one so we'll have to make some correction so now there is no space so now I can save this segment okay so let's play the segment number two so the reason this segment uh, is separated uh, from the from the speech is because whenever we find any any gap of 0 0.50 we'll have to segregate that segment from from the speech so let me delete the segment number two and i'll show you i've got a few here so as you can see if i move my segment to here i've got a few here something that helps me fall asleep is listening to voicemails i receive from friends and family so over here we can see a gap so if there is any gap something that helps if there is any gap we'll have to make the separate segment for this so so we can hear a background uh, music over here uh, on this segment so we'll have to select zero zero is for the non-speech one is for the male two is for the uh, female and when you select zero all these labels can be used and for this particular uh, segment we'll have to use pure music so this is done this is how you can create new segment and uh, please make sure you follow the uh, rules given to you by your manager the uh, the current project which are which we have been doing is uh, on this project uh, the maximum duration is 15 seconds for the speech and uh, we'll have to uh, if they if we find any gap uh, between the speech and it has 0 0.50 second of duration we'll have to separate that uh, segment and make sure that after doing two to three segment you must have to click on save to save your current progress and uh, when you complete all these segmentation just click on complete and to reduce or increase the speed you can click on these buttons there are some shortcuts given to you to speed up the work you can utilize these shortcuts and yeah these are the basic things uh, which I have explained you I hope you have understood everything so this is how we can uh, perform a transcription on this platform uh, but make sure if you decide to delete any segment for some reason please copy its text first so you can use that text uh, later so this is how uh, we'll have to transcribe on this platform uh, most of the things are cleared now so if there is anything i will explain it in the next video so till that thank you take care